cabin near Lake Arrowhead that's been deserted for like 90 years. For your birthday? Why? I don't know. It sounds sort of scary. It'll be fun. Are you in? No way. Hi, I'm Ella. I just moved here. Do you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. Anyway, there'll be like seven of us. It'll be great. Could you guys show me where the office is? I'm a little lost. I have no interest at all. I'm from Austin. You don't want to be there for my birthday? I'll just buy you a Sephora gift card and we can call it a day. There's no way I'm going with you and a bunch of people to some random cabin. It's in Texas. Austin, Texas. Do you hear something? Thank you. No, why? I don't know. I feel like there's this voice or something in my ear. See, this is why I don't like to talk about this stuff. You're opening a can of worms. Oh, stop it. Maybe I'm psychic. Or maybe psycho. You're just trying to scare me. Absolutely not. You're so boring. Thanks for the help. I'm you, Ella Emerson. I think you have my homeroom information. What is with these people? <laughs> You're belly aching, dude. Hey, did you hear about the new girl starting today? It's supposed to be super hot. Oh. Typically, I don't like the way you said that, but I'll let it slide this time. You know, I'm hoping she's in my home room today. She's supposed to be from Florida. No, Texas. <laughs> no, wait, I mean Texas. <laughs> you know, I think it's about time because I think I've dated literally every girl in the school. Every girl? I think I ever saw yourself there, Slim Jim. Hey, hey, shut up! What is with these people? I totally forgot there was an algebra test today. Who's going home sick? Excuse me? I was asking prom this morning. Oh my gosh, you have to tell me all the details. Congrats! Maybe you can help me. Excuse me? Maybe you can help me find out where I'm supposed to go. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Good morning, class. Today we have a new student joining us all the way from Texas. Please give a welcome to Madison Michaels. Stand up, Madison. It's one way or the other. Tell us about your move. Is there anything you're looking forward to now that you live in LA? I'm just excited to be closer to the beach. Everyone, make sure to help her out with anything at all. What about me? Seems like you're having a better day than me. The lunch lady won't even let me get food. Okay, ignore me too, just like everybody else. Madison, there's a spot over here. What is with these people? So, how are you liking school so far? It's pretty cool. Everyone's been super nice. Not to me. My birthday's next week. Nice, are you having a party? I wanted to rent this cabin, but Avery is being so immature. Doesn't overnight in a cabin in the woods sound fun to you? Not if she wants to get murdered. Why would I get murdered? Taylor says it's haunted. I don't believe in those things. Besides, they probably just say it's haunted to add shock value. I mean, I don't know if I believe in things being haunted, but spirits are real. Oh great, you're one of those types. Avery, shut up. Oh well, you girls are on your own. So it's like a lot of fun. I'm telling you, I keep hearing this voice. Can you guys not hear that? Don't listen to her, she's just trying to freak me out. Sitting right here, you could just acknowledge me. It's like this buzzing. It's so weird. Hello. Anyway. Do you believe in ghosts? For sure. What about you, Avery? I'm not having this conversation. I believe in ghosts. I believe in a lot of things, if you would just acknowledge me. My house in Texas 
had spirits. Oh, whatever. Really? Yeah, I mean, the guy who lived there before us killed himself in the attic. We used to hear him walking around at night. It wasn't just the creaky floorboards? It wasn't just creaky floorboards? How did you just repeat that? Shut up, Avery. No way I would live in that house. If you don't believe in spirits, you have nothing to worry about. Most are friendly. Now we have to rent the cabin. Hello? Someone talk to me. Seriously, you guys, I'm like hearing voices or something. Why are you ignoring me? Why are you all ignoring me? Shut up, Taylor. You probably are. Spirits are always around us, trying to connect. Don't, don't feed into it. Taylor already thinks she's psychic. This place is the worst first day ever. What's going on? Did, did you know the school's haunted? No way. Seriously. Mr. Grimes just told us about a history. Apparently, this girl died here like 50 years ago. What? Yeah, this young girl. Next week's gonna be the 50th anniversary of her death. Seriously? There was a fire and she was the only student that couldn't get out. <sighs> See, it's all over Google. What? This is a dream. That's all it is. She had just moved here from Texas. She was the only one that couldn't get out. Ella Emerson. I mean, how have we never heard of this? It's horrifying. Guys. Guys, look at me. Guys, I'm Elle. I'm Elle Emerson. Look at me, guys. Look at me. <laughs> I need to call my mom. Hello? Please, I need to use the phone. Fine, whatever, I'll use it anyways. Why, what's wrong? What, what's the matter? Avery, please join us in the cabin. Please, now that Madison's going, that's one more person to keep us safe. I promise nothing bad is gonna happen. Spirits just wanna be respected. I will consider it. At least that's not a no. This is gonna be the best birthday ever. I'm gonna have my mom book it tonight. Someone please listen to me. My mom just texted me. She's so annoying, like just leave me alone. What happened? She's grounding me because I got my belly button pierced last weekend. So lame. You guys are taking everything for granted. I'd give anything to see my mom. She'll get over it. Can't go back now. Seriously. I got a fake ID to get a tattoo. My parents have no idea. That's wild. You have to hook us up with fake IDs. I can't take this anymore. What's going on? What's happening? If there's a spirit here, Please tell us your name. I'm not a spirit, I'm a girl. Uh. 
Hello, Emerson. That's the girl who burned in the fire. Ella, I think we may have made you upset. Can you tell me about yourself? How old are you? Me too. I'm sorry for whatever it is that we said or did. Is there anything that we can do to help you? I want to be alive. I want you to see me. What is happening? None of you can hear me. It's hopeless. Ella, if you're listening, I want you to know it's okay to let go. If you need to stay here, you can, but if there's a message you want us to give someone, we can do that for you. How long have you been here? I don't know. Do you know what brought you here? I can't remember. <laughs> there was fire and it was really hot. I couldn't open the door. Ella, this, this may be hard to hear, but you've died. Did you know that? No. Ella, tell me what you're afraid of. I know it's scary. I don't want you to feel trapped here. What was that about? That was so crazy. What was crazy? Lights flashing, books being thrown, mysterious writing on the whiteboard, ring a bell. I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes spirits don't know they've passed. I mean, sounds like whatever happened to her was pretty traumatic. I wonder if she's holding a grudge. Do you think that's why she showed up? It's possible she's just never had closure. I wouldn't want to make her mad again. Not all spirits are bad. She was just a little lost. Can you imagine being trapped here? I can barely make it through one class, let alone 50 years. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure I was um, asleep all of last period. We all saw it, Avery. How else do you explain what happened? I, I can't explain it. I don't even remember it. <laughs> oh, come on, Avery. You were there. The look on your face was like... Nope, that wasn't me. It's okay to be scared, but it did happen. It's important to honor the dead. Either way, my birthday party in the cabin is gonna be insane. There's zero way I'm putting myself in another situation like that. What situation? I thought you were dreaming. I just don't want anything to do with a spooky dead girl again. Not again. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're, you're not a spooky dead girl. You're a nice dead girl. I'm sorry. Now that was freaky. I tried to warn her. Why is it locked? <laughs> really funny, guys. Let me out. Guys, it's not funny anymore. Let me out. Hello? 
Smells amazing. Mm, it looks yeah. so good too, Mom. Well, it's a new recipe for a new town, so eat up. Oh, what the best part? It's casserole. It's all the best part, doofus. You're the doofus. Nice comeback, dork. I'm not a dork. It's a dork. And that's what makes you a dork. Ella, ah. stop teasing your brother. What? Whatever. Why aren't you eating your peas? Because I don't like them. But that's what makes you grow. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No. But, but girls don't like short guys. Ew, why would I want a girl to like me? And you can't ride the roller coasters if you're too short. Nuh-uh. Yeah. -huh. I'm so glad we're back together again. It was really hard without you back in Austin. I'm glad too, honey. I get to eat your delicious casserole again. So, how was work today? It was not too bad. We got this new machine down at the factory. It's gonna help a lot with all the orders coming in. Whoa, a new machine? Is this like a robot? Almost. It's got this big arm. It can pick up anything, no matter Whoa. how heavy it is. That's so cool. Yeah. Eat up? <sighs> you eat up. No! <gasps> I don't care who started it, I'm ending this. Fine, whatever. Watch your words, young lady. Am I just supposed to pretend like everything's all right? Like we didn't move to this hellhole for him? That's it, go to your room. Ugh! I hate this place! your father can have a temper. He usually means well. And I know sometimes it might seem unfair, but this is a new town, a new start. I hope you'll give it a chance. Your father loves you, sweetie. Just loves my brother more.
your diary. I guess this is my life now. As if moving to a new city wasn't hard enough. Now I'm the bad guy of the story. I hate this place. I hate having to leave all my friends behind. And now, whenever my brother acts out, I'm the one that gets in trouble. Talk about a fair world. I know we moved here for him and his health is important and all, but what about what's good for me? Was I ever asked what I wanted? Does it even matter? No, I'm just supposed to go along and be the perfect daughter perfect little girl that stays quiet. Ugh, I hate this. This is so dumb and I wish I could go back home. And now, tomorrow is the first day at a new school. It's always nerve wracking being the new kid. It's not always easy making new friends, especially good ones. First impressions are everything. Because, if I have to admit it, I'm not always very sociable. But this is a new city, so I guess I can try some of that new place, new me. Okay, kiddo, bus is here. Now hold on a second. Listen, I know this is all a big change but it's gonna get better. We just gotta give it a chance. You're just repeating what mom said. We all have to adjust. I know it's hard now, but like I always say, what's hard, hard today, today makes it better tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm gonna go now. I think that's sweetheart. New day, new place, new me. I got this. Okay, Ella, you got this. Just be yourself. Okay, then you remember that new girl, Cindy, and how she was going on about, oh, my guy's all this and all that? Wasn't she steady with Shane? Was this the right word? Wait. What? He broke up with her? Mm-hmm. Right in front of the whole squad. Oh my gosh. I would cry. Hi, I'm Ella from Austin. Do you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. Anyway, he was like, I think we should start seeing other people. <laughs> then he just left her there. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> it's in Texas. Austin, Texas. But you know what that means, right, girl? He's all up for grabs now. Oh, I'm definitely grabbing that. I'm a little lost. Can you show me where the office is? Are you sure you don't hear that? No, it must be a little bug or something. Thanks for the help. Don't let all these squares get to you. Hey, I'm Josie, and you must be the new girl. Yep. Ella, uh, from Austin. Ella. Ells from Austin. That's a groovy name. Ells. That's what my friends call me. Well, your friends have good taste. Come on, I'll show you where the office is. Thanks. Okay, so don't talk to those girls. Don't talk to her. Especially not her. You can talk to the jocks. Some of them are nice. Most is spazzes, but nice. But whatever you do, don't go in the boys' locker room. Anyway, this is homework. Make condition. Yeah, it's pretty nice in LA, but it can get pretty warm sometimes. Nice. So in Austin, it can get like really hot, but I think not as hot as Florida. You've been to Florida? Aren't you well-traveled? <laughs> it was only for one summer. I was visiting with Grandma. Well, it's more places than I've ever been. I've never been even outside the city. You should get out more. There's tons of cool places. And so much good food. Like if you're ever in Texas, you have to try the chicken fried steak. It's the bee's knees. <laughs> You're an interesting one, Els. You know what? I think we're gonna be good friends. That was never done on my mind. <laughs> okay. I have algebra next period. It's such a bore. What do I have? English. Cube English? 
You're so lucky. Why is that lucky? Hey man, she knew. Uh, I think so. She's pretty. Mm. Well, look at you being all popular with the boys. What? No, they're talking about you. No, they're definitely looking at you. Stop. Most people just look right through me. Well, that's gonna change pretty soon. No one's gonna be able to forget you. Here comes Ella. Oh, here goes. Okay, class. We have a new student today here. She come all the way from Texas. Her name is Ella Emerson. insane. It happens more often than you think. Spirits with unresolved issues sometimes need to feel complete again before they can move on to a better place. I just can't believe that we have an actual G-H-O-S-T in the school. I don't think we should call her that. I mean, she's just a girl. Right, but... You have to admit that spirits being real is just so eye-opening. What do you want, Adrian? What's up with you? Nothing. Ignore them. Like, for real. He thinks he's a total player, but he's not. Anyway. Oh, did I tell you? My mom got the reservation for the cabin this weekend. Oh, that's great. Yeah. They said another group had to cancel pretty last minute, so we were given a good discount. And you said it's in the woods? That sounds really cool. Yeah. This is going to be one amazing party. Is, um, Avery going? I hope so. She can be a little difficult at times, but she's pretty cool, too. She just seemed so out of it. And she was so quick talking about me behind my back, new girl. Oh, come on now, Avery. It's not like that. What, is she like your new best friend? No, Avery, that's not what this is. Whatever. Okay, class, open your books to page 37. Acting with all that. No. I'm sorry, what? Dude, ever since I told you about that girl, you've just been acting like super weird. No, uh, I'm, I'm not. You are. Come on. Okay, fine. Just, just, just look, okay? Just look. What are we waiting for? No, no, no. Just, just shut up and look. <sighs> Come on, dude. You need no, no, lunch time. No, no, please, please. Just look. You gotta pull yourself together, man. No. I'll catch you later. No, 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 please, please, Ethan, just look. Hey, Ethan, hold on! Am I a joke now? This is really starting to annoy me. You are not keeping me here. I can't move. Okay, Ella, you got... Okay, Avery, this has to stop. She wasn't saying anything bad about you. And I'm not trying to steal your friend. We can all be friends, Avery. Okay, fine, maybe I overreacted. Don't even worry. Besides, we have more important matters to discuss. 
Can we please not talk about this? We need a theme for my birthday. I thought the theme was Cabin in the Woods. Oh, like the movie? No. Maybe it could be tea party themed? I was thinking more Hollywood red carpet or murder mystery dinner party. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds cool. Oh, no, please no. It's settled then. I'll call my mom and have her prepare everything. Sounds like fun. I wish I could go. But I can't. Oh my god. She's back. Not this again. I can't make out exactly what she's saying, but it sounds static or something. Static? Come on. Follow me. I was reading the class list and I saw that they used to have an AV club. But I think they closed it down because they only had like two members. Two is enough. I think it's just right down here. Wait, how did you know where it is? Oh, uh, it just, it doesn't matter, whatever. <sighs> it's locked. Oh, I got this. Very resourceful. I take that back. Wait, why do you have a key? They never asked for it back. Just get over it. I knew I liked you. It's so dark in here. Wait, I think I see something. Ow! Hey, that's my foot. Sorry. Is this it? Ow! No, that's my hair! What are you both doing? Obviously trying to, you know, find this, right? No, not quite. We need something to channel the static. Maybe this? How is that gonna help? How is that gonna help? Okay, you have to stop doing that. You are freaking me out. Well, I was listening to this podcast, uh, Paranormal Today, and they were talking about how spirits are on a different frequency than us. But some people can use radios to tune them in. Really? That is so cool. I have just about enough of this. So do we just turn it on? Just turn the dial. Oh, it does work. Wait, do you guys hear that? Listen closer. Something about potatoes. It sounds like pa pa. Hey. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Ethan, what are you doing, dude? You almost gave us a heart attack. I'm sorry, but this place is off limits. What are you doing here? No, what are you doing in here? I heard. Excuse me. What happened? Oh, great. Now you're here, too. No, but like, seriously, though, what are y'all doing in here? We're trying to talk to her. Who? You mean Ella. It's the girl we were talking about yesterday. Wait, Wait, wait a minute. So you're telling me you're trying to talk to a dead girl through that radio? Yes. Is that so hard to understand? Just trying to catch up. You're talking to a dead girl. Are you sure this is such a great idea? Well, we can't just not do anything. She needs our help. But how is that even possible? Hence the radio. She might be able to talk to us through here. Don't look at me. It was all their idea. This is getting us nowhere. Why did it have to be me? This was supposed to be a new chance. It was going to be a great year. Did you all hear that? Yeah, we, we did. did. Jinx. jinx. Double, Double jinx. jinx. Triple Jinx. Guys, this is not the time for this. Hello, Ella? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Is she still there? I don't know, it's like, even the static sounds different. 
This is so trippy. Hi, I'm Ellen. Wait. Hold this. It is you. Hold on to this. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Dude. I know. No, no, I'm out of here. Avery, wait! No, no, this can't be happening. I'm in a dream. I'm dreaming. Guys, everyone just needs to stop. We don't want to upset her again. So, it looks like the radio can only connect us to her when Taylor's holding it. No, no, no that, 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 that's insane. That's awesome. How, how is that possible? She must act like some sort of conduit. I knew it. I'm psychic. What now? Hello, Ella? Can you hear us? Yes, I can still hear you. That's good. That's good. Um, we want to help you somehow. What can you do? I don't know. Um, maybe can, can you tell us something about yourself? I was going to a new school and just like me. I just want to go home. Ella? You're breaking up. What is she saying? Please. Ella? Are you still there? Radio's busted. Is there another one? Not in here. We were all gonna throw them out last week. Can you get another one? We need to talk to her. Yeah, sure. Let me just pull it right out of my hat. Look! Avery! Why do you keep doing this? Avery. Why do you keep putting me in these situations you know I don't like? I just want things to go back to the way they were. And you, you're supposed to be my, my best friend, but you keep dismissing everything I say. Avery, listen. I'm sorry that I haven't been a better friend to you, but all that's been happening with Ella has been a big shock. And I want to be there for you, but I also want to help her. And I might be the only one who can. But I can't do this alone. I need your help too. I'm gonna try to be a better friend to you, Avery. I don't want you to keep feeling like what you say doesn't matter. We need to be there for each other. And that also means that we need to be there for Ella. I just, it's hard to get used to it. Hey, that's how I feel too. I really don't know how to help her. Neither do I. But let's figure it out together. We should get smoothies after class. Smoothies sound good. But, um, aren't our bags still in homeroom? Don't worry. I got it. Is this going to be my life now? I mean, my death. <sighs> you said we would have a good year. Why'd you lie to me? It's you. What are you doing here? School's out, so you're probably going home. Ella, if you're here, I just wanted to tell you that we're going to help you. Don't leave. 
We don't know how yet, but we're going to try. I don't want to be alone. So please be patient with us. No, no, go. Taylor, 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 where, what? Ow, that really hurt. What just happened? What did I just see? My bad. I didn't know that would happen. Who are you? Can you see me? Yes. What are you wearing? Hold on. Are you... Ella? Yep. Taylor, are you okay? Uh... Is it really you? Uh, yeah, it's me. Oh my god! Oh my god, how is this, how am I able to see you? Okay, Taylor, breathe, breathe, breathe. I don't want you to pass out again. I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Please don't get mad, I'm just, you're not scary at all. Just a regular girl. No, let's not do that again. Right. I'm sorry, I'm just still trying to process this. You're... Ella. Oh, shoot, I have to go meet up with Avery. She is not gonna believe this. Come on, uh, Ella. Good to hear. I was getting worried about you. You don't have to be worried. Wasn't Taylor with you? Yeah, she said she was gonna grab her bag, but that was like a few minutes ago. Yeah, we should go check on her. Yeah, I'm a little worried now. So how long have you been, uh, here, like this? You mean dead? I mean, like, stuck here. I don't remember. Everything's still a little bit fuzzy. Well, what do you remember? I remember being caught and then cold. Right, you were in the fire. I also remember talking to someone. Someone really nice. I think they were trying to help me. Do you remember their name? Dozy. That's pretty much about it. Then I woke up here and now I can't get out. What do you mean you can't get out? Believe me, I've tried. Hey, I'm back. Did she really leave? Typical. She's not in here. Yeah, I can see that. So if Avery's not in here, maybe she went home? I don't think she was just go home. Maybe she's back in home. You're right. Let's go back. This seems different. Things have been weird lately. I know. It's, it's like I never believed in ghosts, but now it's. Don't don't call her that, right? She doesn't. Like being called that. Hey, Madison. Oh, uh, at least you can say my name now. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Um, about that. Uh, you know, I'm like, I'm like usually better with um words, and it's just like um, I don't. The word he's looking for is eloquent. Shut up. Um. Anyways, uh, my name is Adrian. 
but you probably already knew that. So, um, what happened back there was pretty, pretty bizarre, huh? Madison, let's go. Um, uh, you going somewhere? Uh, yeah, I'm coming. Listen, we have somewhere to be, so we can talk later, okay? Hey, uh, uh, can I come? Uh, maybe I can help. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. We're gonna talk later. <laughs> uh, pretty sure that was her telling you off. No, 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 no. She just, um, she's just busy and has places to be. Right. Just, just, like, not by you. Really? Hey, hey look. She, she, she left her bracelet. Oh. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Um, you know what? She'll want it back. Wish me luck. So, did you always know you were psychic? <laughs> well, actually, I thought I was joking at first, but I guess not so much now. Up until yesterday, I thought I was alive. I can't even imagine what that must have been like for you all this time. It didn't feel that long. I wish that I... It's not your fault. It's not like they teach a class about this. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> like 101 spirit talking or 101 had a knock get stuck in the afterlife. Or 101 had to support your spirit friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a fun class. That's the first time I've seen you smile. Hey, it's okay. I can be gloomy sometimes too. Now that's hard to believe. <laughs> what? Why would you say that? You're the popular girl at school, right? What are you talking about? I'm not that popular. Oh, I just assumed that everyone was really nice to you. No, that's not me. Not anymore. That's a shocker. I just figured by the way you What's going on here? Haven't we already been here? No, we haven't. This isn't right. This hallway doesn't lead to homeroom. Where are we? This isn't even the school. Yes, it is. Look over there. Oh, I guess you're right. I think I have an idea. Maybe this can help with the missing parts of my life. Is that a diary? I have the same one too, but I don't really write in it, not since. May I? Sure. Maybe you could find something that I missed. So, Taylor, why don't you write in your diary anymore? I guess it's because I don't have much to write about. I don't really have any friends anymore. What's happening? What did you do? I'm sorry, Taylor. It wasn't my intention to deceive you. What do you mean? You were going to leave. I didn't want to be alone. Wait, where are you going? your body. No, I'm not. No, I, I can't. I'm, I'm not. I can still feel the bump and it hurts. Anything. I could feel everything around me and no one could see me. No, no, I'm not. I can't be. Taylor, you're dead. This doesn't have to be you. You can change it. Huh? You're the key. Change it. Guys! Guys! 
I'm not dead, I'm alive, I'm right here. Guys, look at me, I'm right here. Taylor, you have to go, go now. Come with me, don't stay in the darkness. I deserve this. No, you don't. No one deserves to be alone. You're not alone anymore. You have all of us. You're the key, Taylor. You can help me. Go. I'm the key. Taylor? Taylor? Oh. Hey guys. Why am I in the nurse's office? You don't remember? They found you collapsed on the floor. Oh. Right. I fell down and I hit my head pretty hard. Taylor, we were so worried about you. Don't ever do that again. It's not like I'm planning to. You guys won't believe what just happened. Actually, you might just... Oh. You're... You're awake. Gimme. I'm thirsty. Oh, um, okay. Taylor, what did you mean earlier when you said you are the key? Oh, right. Guys, I have something important to tell you. Well, tell us. Don't leave us in suspense. I'm getting there. I saw Ella. I actually saw her. That makes a lot of sense. Trust me, what happened did not make a lot of sense. Well, spirits are easier to commune with when you're in a state of rest. So like, a deep sleep? Something like that. More like a deep meditation. She's actually a really nice person. We have to find a way to help her. I have a few ideas. If we're really going to do this, we need to find more about her life in 1970. I can help with that. I'll search every website if I have to. Um, I'll help too. Somehow. Thanks, guys. Now, can we go home? I don't really want to be here another minute. I will save you, Ella. I won't abandon you. Because we're friends. And friends don't leave each other behind. Thank you, Taylor. Even if it was just for a moment, I didn't feel alone anymore. Aren't you a nice girl? Actually, that was pretty selfish. They have you all wrong. Shut up. Because you are actually not... I said shut up! ...a good friend. Logistic growth functions are often more useful as models. A colony of the bacteria B plus the equation. Okay, class, see you all next week.
Okay, guys, we need a plan. We need more info. Like, what exactly happened 50 years ago? I went online again, and it didn't have any cause of why the fire started. It did say, though, that it started in the gym and spread to the other classrooms. All right, that's something. And then, Taylor, didn't you say something about a diary? Yeah, I was holding her diary while I was in the coma. That could be useful. A spirit's personal belongings can tether them into this world. But how would we get her diary? Um, I'd say the Emersons. Uh, maybe one of her relatives kept the book after she died? Well, how would we get in contact with them? The admin office should have records about her, right? I doubt they're gonna show us their records. Doesn't hurt to try. Newspaper archives. If we can find some from back then, we might be able to find someone that knew her. The library, they should have some of those. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe we should try and contact Ella? Hey, I said it would help. That reminds me. We should help you communicate with me. Thank you. Okay, so we have a lot of ground to cover. I think we should split up. Uh, yeah, no, you guys take the admin's office, and me and Madison will take the library. Uh, no, you know what? I, um, I think I have a better idea. Well, that did not turn out how I expected. Quit your whining and let's get to it. Don't stress, guys. I got this. Hey, Mrs. Um, what's her name? Jenkins. Jenkins. Keep it down, Mr. Wallace. You know, I always do. Um, I, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. We have a history project, and I was wondering maybe you had any, like, old newspapers from back then? Yeah, how old are we talking about? Um, like, from the year of the, of the fire with the girl named... Mr. Montgomery, please refrain from using the word fire in a library. Yeah. Um, Ethan, what are you talking about? You, you know, the one from... 1970. Why would Mr. Grams assign you a project on that? <laughs> that was a terrible accident. Uh, for extra credit. Yeah, extra credit. Well, there, there aren't very many things that survived the fire. Books that old aren't even in our database. So if you want to find that book, you're going to have to go to the catalog. Okay, thank you. Forever. The more you talk, the longer it's gonna be. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't understand why there's so many links. It, what do you mean? Your entire Am job I supposed to, to know? Yes, Shut up. you have the glasses. I, th I think I found it. Let me see some. Let's go. Static. Taylor, hi. Long time no see. It's been a while, hasn't it? Crystal, Cassie. How are you doing? We heard you had a nasty fall. I'm doing great. Really? Because uh, word around campus is you might have lost a couple brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I still have more than both of you combined. Ha ha, you're still so funny. <laughs> Where's that friend of yours? What was her name? Oh, you mean the one with the glasses? Sounded like a bird. Oh, um, A V uh, A V Avery. Yeah. She's actually doing research for our group project. So I take it the honeymoon's over. What are you talking about? No, I think she must have traded up. Uh, hi, I'm Madison. Wait, don't tell me. Madison Michaels, right? Yes. OMG. 
Are you psychic too? I must be. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so was there a reason that you two stopped by? Oh, uh, we just wanted to check up on poor Taylor. Yeah, ever since she stopped hanging out with us, we've been so worried. Well, thank you for the sentiment, but we have important work to get back to. Let us know if you see any ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? I didn't do anything. That's weird. Hang on a second. Okay, let's see here. It looks like this book has been removed from the database. Sorry, kids. It looks like you have to find a new project. Great. So this was all for nothing. How was it removed? Miss Clark, may I remind you that you are in a library. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jenkins. Why was it removed? <laughs> Out of respect for the families, young lady. Like I said, this was a terrible tragedy. Ugh, let's go. Hopefully Taylor and Madison had better luck. What do you mean there's no records? Everything prior to 1985 was not digitized. So all the files for the students of the class of 1970 was lost in the fire. And even if I did have the files, I'm not authorized to just hand them to students. So there's no paperwork from that year at all? What is this all for again? Uh, it's for social studies. A, a group project. Yes, we wanted to interview someone from back then uh, about the fire and their experience. I see. You could speak to Principal Dixon. He was a student back then. Really? Can we talk to him right now? No, um, he's gone for the day. I can leave a message. Actually, it would really help if you can schedule an appointment. You know, for the project. Um, he's a really busy person. You can try, but I cannot make any promises. Thank you. Anything helps. I guess we're back to square one. We might have to rely on Ella. What's up? Ella, you're back. We've been looking all over for you. I was handling a few things. What do you mean? Hey, why won't this open? Did you forget to push up on it? I'm not stupid. It's stuck. Oh. <laughs> do you have like a tool in your locker to open this one or something? Yeah, I think I have a bobby pin or something. <gasps> Confetti come from? <laughs> okay, we should get out of here. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Okay. So, we didn't find out anything that we didn't already know. It's weird. It's like old news reports and records are just gone. It's 
It's like a conspiracy. I wouldn't go that far. Well, whatever happened, looks like we only have one option left. Oh, right. Ella, are you there? What's cracking? We need your help. How can I help? Is there anyone that might still be around? A family member, a friend, anyone that knew you? Give me a second. I'm never gonna get used to this. This is awesome. I remember my mom. Her name was... Olivia. Olivia? Olivia Emerson. That's perfect. Thank you, Ella. Okay, everyone, pull out your phones and look up anything we can find on Olivia Emerson. So those little boxes are phones. You don't know what phones are, huh? They're kind of like little computers? Computers. Like in that one movie, um, The Space Odyssey. Uh, I guess. Wait, then those things are dangerous. No, Ella, they're helpful. I, I mean, they can be dangerous. Oh, I like how the internet's dangerous. Or so I've been told. Don't scare her. Internet. Yeah, Ella. The internet. It's where you can find almost everything. Any information, videos, TikToks. TikTok. Like the clocks. We're gonna be here for a long time. Uh, okay, guys. I, I found something. Uh, let me see. Uh, Olivia Emerson. <laughs> Was born in Austin, Texas. Moved to California. Died... Died 2001. Oh. So she's gone too then. I'm. I'm sorry, Ella. So much for subtlety. Bro, keep reading. Um, she is survived by her son, Emil Emerson. That's my brother. Is there an address? No. Doesn't look like it, but hold on. There's a phone number. Yes, hello. Um, we would like to speak to Emil Emerson. Why are adults always so busy? Uh, yes, we would like to talk to him about his sister, Ella. One second. Hello? Who's this? Um, we're students and we're trying to... Uh, we're writing a news report on your sister. Yes, and we were wondering if you had any of her old belongings, like a journal or a diary? My sister died 50 years ago. Please, don't call again. Mo. He hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> so we're back to square one. I really thought we were getting somewhere. Well, I guess I'll catch you all tomorrow. <sighs> She's gone again. I just don't understand. If her family didn't keep anything, then why did she show you her diary? It must have been with her. Of course. It must be in the school. If it's in the school, where is it? Where all books end up. You're all here now. We were hoping that you would help us with something else. What is it this time, Miss Clark? Was a diary turned in a long time ago? It would be a pretty small diary about 
this size. And it would be pretty old and... What are you kids trying to do? This is not a project that's been assigned. I spoke with Mr. Grams. There is no project of this sort. We're trying to find out anything about what happened 50 years ago. We just want to help. I mean, we need to. We're just trying to help our friend. What friend? Ella. Ella Emerson. You all need to leave. What? Why? You need to drop this subject and stop poking your noses into business that doesn't belong to you. from Austin. <sighs> Madison, may I come in? Yes, Grandma, you may. Hi, baby girl. What are you drawing? Grandma, you have to stop calling me that. I'm 14. You will always be my baby girl. Oh my. And those eyes. They're so striking. Thanks. I worked hard on those eyes. I wanted to give you something. What is it? Here, sweetheart. This is for you. Grandma, that's beautiful. But wouldn't you prefer to sell it in the store instead? Madison, sweetheart, do you know what I sell in my shop? Jewels, crystals, stones, and lots of spiritual goods. Yes, but that's not everything. I like to think that in my shop, I also sell hope. Hope? Mm, what do you mean? The people who come into my store, they're searching for something. Something that they feel is missing. Something that isn't always material or physical. The feeling that they get when they wear a piece of my jewelry is the hope that their troubles will go away. And if we're not there to help them find their hope, then what good is having all the money in the world? I think I get it. And since we can't take anything with us when we die. We leave the hope for a better world behind. I love that. That's beautiful, Grandma. How did I get so lucky to have a granddaughter that's so smart and beautiful? I always appreciate your words of wisdom. Always remember that. And never lose hope, my sweet Madison. There's got to be something we can do to help her. Mom, I'm home. Mom. Not this again. Hey, sweetie. When did you get home? Literally a minute ago.
I thought you stopped drinking. No. I'm all right. How was school? How are you feeling? I'm better. That's good. I don't want you getting sick before your big day. Oh, I got you something. What do you think? Isn't that neat? What is that? Very murder mystery party. Right. Here, try it on. Mom, no. Oh my god, you look adorable. Mom, I want my friends to like me, not think I'm stupid. You don't look stupid. You look like a real detective. Detectives aren't supposed to be adorable. Well, my baby is adorable. Mom, stop saying that. I'm not a kid anymore. I know. My baby's gonna be 16. Mom, that's enough. I'm gonna go to my room. So, are we gonna go inside? I brought backup. Hey, I also brought backup. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know you two were a thing. What? Ew, no. Ew, we just, we just live near each other. I mean, okay, if you must know, when AV Club got disbanded, we were bunched together for photography. Can we just drop the subject? Anyway, since Ethan is part of the photography club and they get to stay late to take all sorts of night photos, he has a key for emergencies. Cool. Did you have a plan? Yes, I have this. Is that Ellis? No, no, it's mine, but she showed me a similar one and I thought it might help her remember more. That's actually not a bad idea. I know, right? I surprise myself sometimes. You always surprise me. Oh, shut up, Avery. I mean, I really value your input. Well, don't be weird about it. Hey, is that the diary that I got you for your birthday? <clears throat> Did you? Oh, 
Right, you did. Have you used it at all? I write in it every now and then. The cover is really pretty. Whatever, just give it to her. <sighs> okay guys, so before we go any further, I want to give you all something. What are those? Spiritual beats. They'll protect us in case we run into something that isn't Ella. Well, what else could we run into that isn't Ella? Well, just like lost spirits can linger around, dark spirits can also manifest themselves. Dark what? That sounds pretty awesome. These are so pretty. Thanks. My family makes them. Well, we used to make them before my grandma. Anyway, let's go find Ella. What are you doing? You can't keep ignoring me forever. I can sure try. That's not how this works. You are not real. You are just in my head. Ow! That felt pretty real to me. What I wanted was to have a good year. But you messed that up. You always mess everything up. Leave me alone. But it's so much fun. Go off on somewhere else. Gladly. Oh, do you hear that? It's your friends, Taylor, Avery, and Madison. What? They're not supposed to be here. Guess I'll have fun with them. No! Oh. Are you really gonna try and take a picture of her? If I do, I can get like a reward or something, right? Just turn the flash off. Bright lights can hurt spirits. Yeah, and don't point it at us because bright lights can hurt us too. I don't think she's here. Let's move further in. Guys, what was that? That's Ella. <laughs> Where's she going? Are you sure she went this way? I'm positive. Maybe she's hungry? Spirits don't eat, right? I guess not. So they eat souls? Shut up, Ethan. Guys, what's this? A ribbon? This is Ella's. She wears it on her sleeves. Can I see that? This feels soft, but old. Madison, watch out! <gasps> Ella? Was that you? But why was she trying to hurt you? I... I don't know. I... What is that? Okay, Ella. You have spirit powers. You can do this. Okay. Come on. Just... Oh! You look so dumb right now. Open this door. Sorry, I can't do that. Not yet. Not until you learn. How am I supposed to learn? What do you mean, learn? Hello? I've just about had enough of this. That worked. Now you're learning. I did that. When you get angry, we get stronger. Just moves air heavy here. No, I I feel it too. This feels just like last time. Okay, we should go now. But I still haven't got a good picture yet. No, I, I agree with Avery. I don't think we're dealing with Ella right now. Okay, then let's get out of here. Whoa, why is there a wall here? How is that even possible? It isn't. This is just like before. What can we do? Yeah, Madison, what can we do? I, I, Madison! I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have all the answers. It's okay. I'm okay. You're okay, Avery. I got you. Listen, whoever's out there, 
We're not trying to hurt you. We just want to go home. Now, why would I let you all go home? We're having too much fun. Ella? Why are you doing this? I told you. You're all staying here forever. No, this isn't you. No, Taylor, this is me. This is who I am. No, please, try to remember. Some might. No, you're trying to trick me. I know this isn't yours, but you trusted me with your secrets, and now I'm trusting you. Taylor? Ella, it's you. Why is this happening? You're okay now, Ella. You're you again. Please make it stop. Medicine? I, I, um, why are you talking? I, I, I can't speak. I told you, you're all staying here forever. Guys, let's go before she comes back. That was bad. So bad. I can't believe that actually happened. I only have one photo. Uh, really? Let me see. You can't even see her. Of course, that would be too easy. Madison, are you okay? I'm sorry. I should have... I should have known better. No, Madison. It's all my fault. I'm the one who brought us all here. What even happened back there? I I'm okay now, but I think we're running out of time. Ella is running out of time. What do you mean? I think her personality is coming undone. Then we have to find her diary. It might be the only thing that can work. Okay, but let's just go home for now. Yeah, I agree. I'm so sorry, Grandma. I let you down. But I promise, I'll never lose hope again. Talented Madison. I wish I could draw like that. Also, I really dig your hair. I wish I could change your mind, but it just doesn't seem to. I was also new, just like you. Molly, you could have everything that I wanted. So boring. Ella? Was that you? Who else could it be? Um, hey. Did you drop this? Yeah, thanks. Don't mention it. I also have your hair. Is, is everything okay? Yeah, um, I just, I could have sworn. Never mind. You were saying? Um, so, uh, the other day when you said that we would, um, we would talk later, uh, uh did you lose us? Oh. That explains everything. Um, yeah. Thanks. This is, this is very special. You're welcome. Hey, uh, why, why is it, um, why is it so special? My grandmother gave this to me. Oh, that's awesome. And those are some pretty cool stones. It's called Lapis Lazuli. Oh. 
Love is what now? It's actually supposed to ward off evil spirits. That, that, that that's awesome. I mean, not the, the evil spirits part, you know. I feel like I should be offended. Right. Anyway. Well, uh, if you ever need um, warding up any evil spirits, just um, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> call you what? I think he likes you. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in class right now? Oh, yeah, no, um, I make my own schedules. I don't think it works like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's actually a pretty awesome drawing. Did, did, did you do that? It's my notebook, so... Right. I, I, I draw too, but I'm not that good. It just takes practice to get better. I definitely need practice. Hey, um, later, uh, do you, um, want to help me practice? Oh. That's me, so... Oh, hey, um, what a coincidence. Uh... Right. You wanna walk together? Madison, we need to talk to you. Uh, Taylor and Avery need me, so I'll see you in class. Yeah. I think I was expected. Thanks for that. I figured you might need some saving. Madison, how are you feeling? I'm okay now. Good. So I was thinking, since my diary idea didn't work... Yeah, that was dumb. We need something else. But what else can we try? We need to find something so that we can show her that we care. After last night, I don't think she cared. Okay, Avery. That hurt. I care about you guys so much. She just wasn't herself. She... Madison? Madison! What? Any other ideas? Attention, please. Madison Michaels, Taylor McAllister, Avery Clark. Please report to the principal's office immediately. What'd you guys do? What could that be for? Oh, maybe it's about the meeting. I doubt it. <sighs> okay. Not like you guys can hear me, but bye. See you later. Good luck, losers. Bye. What was that about? It's nothing. Girls, please come in. Take a seat. Principal Dixon, I just want to thank you for taking the time. Let me stop you right there, Miss Michaels. Do you girls know why I've called you in here today? So it's not for the meeting? No. It's come to my attention that there's been a series of events happening on campus recently. I want to tell you girls right now that we have a no tolerance policy on school vandalism. Vandalism? Wait, did Crystal and Cassie tell you we put confetti in their lockers? Well, that's a very specific accounting of the facts, Miss McAllister. But we didn't do it. I also received a report of harassment towards the faculty, specifically from Ms. Jenkins. Harassment? But we didn't. We were just trying to... I also received a call from the community, a very disturbing call, saying that students from our high school had prank called and harassed with false accusations. What? But we were just trying to get information. And now I'm hearing of a break-in last night where school property was damaged. Listen up, girls. All this bad behavior must stop. Look, I don't want to be the bad guy here, but I also don't want to have to report this to the school board because that will just tarnish all your records. But there must be consequences. I hope they're okay. Do you really care? What? 
Cat got your tongue? You're back. I never left. Leave me and everyone else alone. I'm not the one hurting them, you are. I would never hurt them. Have you forgotten what you've done? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what you did to Josie? No, shut up. You can't keep denying it. I didn't do anything. But you did. No, I didn't. Tell me, what did I do? Not until you admit it. Ah! Are you trying to wrestle with your demons now? Is that what you are? Who knows? But I need you to go back to your little corner now. Why are we the only ones here? The boys were also involved. It's discrimination. I wonder if Ella ever got detention. Ladies, keep it down. This is so unfair. You really like cats, huh? What's not to like? Their claws. Their claws only come out when they're stressed. Yeah. Avery's pretty stressed right now, too. They're just so amazing. And their eyes are just captivating. You know, I heard that cats can actually see spirits. No, they can't. They can. They can keep the bad spirits away, and they can warn us if danger is nearby. Cats are just better at detecting changes in light. Hey, just because I don't like their claws doesn't mean I don't think they're cool. You know, the whole point of detention is to think about the actions that led you here quietly. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I was ever friends with them. Back where I'm from, snitches get stitches. What are you, gangster now? <clears throat> May I use the restroom? Yeah, and we need to go with her. Only one of you can use the restroom at a time. Okay. Did you see the look on their faces? <laughs> wah, wah. Girl, I can't believe I'm failing Ms. Jackman's English class. What? How do you fail English? I know. That's what I told her. Can't she see you speak good English? Maybe she needs to learn how to speak good English. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Actually, follow my lead. Hey, Adrian. Hey, uh, Chris, Crystal? Hi. Hey, oh, what's up? So, poor Cassie here. She's failing English. How do you fail English? So, uh, we were wondering if you were free right now to give us some private tutoring? You mean you want me to tutor her? Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, sure. I mean, yeah, no, um, I, I can't. I already, um, I already talked with Madison and- Oh, oh Madison? I just saw her with Taylor and- What was that girl's name again? Oh, um, Avery. Yes, that's it. Uh, they were in detention a moment ago. Really? What did they do? Oh, I heard they were pulling all sorts of pranks and destroying school property. Is that, that's what you heard? So, are you and Madison like a thing now? Or? Oh, uh, no, a, a thing? <laughs> but, but, but what, what, what's, a, what's a thing, right? It's, what do we really <sighs> know in this life? Get it, let's go. <sighs> was hey. Weird. Hey, Taylor. Um, aren't, aren't you supposed to be in, like, detention or something? What? Yeah. I mean, hey, have you guys seen her? I mean, you wouldn't be able to see her, but have you guys felt anything weird around? Like, a little weird? Yeah. I'm trying to find her in... Taylor. It's Ella. Are you there? Taylor. Hey, I've been looking all over for you. I'm sorry, Taylor. Why are you sorry? I almost did something bad. But you didn't, and that's a good thing. We'll figure it out. 
What's happening to me? Ella? Are you still there? We need to go find Taylor. That's not gonna happen. I need you to distract the teacher. And how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Go ask her for extra credit or something. Extra credit for PE? No. Oh no, I'm late. Mm, that works too. Let's go. Girls. You need to come with me. I have something I think you're gonna need. Come on. Why is it so cold in here? Ella? Taylor, I can't be your friend. I'm not just gonna leave you. I can't be anyone's friend. Don't say that. I might hurt them. No, I know that you won't hurt us. You don't know that. God, it's cold in here. It feels weird in here too. Guys, I'm trying to talk to Ella. Ella, we can help you. Ella, we're here for you. Yeah, we are. Guys, it's coming back. You have to go. What is that? Where is it coming from? Look! <sighs> Ella! You guys have to go. I can't stop it. Go! Ella, don't do this. I would never leave you. Ella! <laughs> Taylor, we're gonna be friends. Best friends. Forever. What's going on here? You... Ella, stop! You don't have to do this. I don't want you. Ella, just listen to me. You can stop the darkness. Madison, go away. You just have to take my hand. I said go away! <laughs> You're okay, Madison. We got you. <sighs> Hurry! Do it! Ella, just take my hand! No, I hate you! This is yours, isn't it? This is what's been keeping you here. The memories in this diary, they don't let you rest. That's my diary. <laughs> no! How'd you guys find the diary? We had a bit of help. Miss Jenkins? I know it's hard for you to remember who I am, but I think this time it's different. Josie. Wait, you're Josie? Josie Jenkins? That's me. So you've known Ella since 1970? We were classmates and we were good friends. And all this time I've been trying to keep her safe, but that was selfish. She needed more than me. She needed all of you. Josie, we were gonna have a great year. No one is gonna forget you, Els, ever again. But it's up to all of you. And I believe you can help her this time. We finally did it? We did. We finally helped Ella. At least this week is over. Let's get out of here. So you're coming to my birthday party. Ready? Do I have to? Yes, you have to go. Well, I want to go to a party. Sounds fun. You're all invited.
Wow, this place is... Pretty cool, huh? Not exactly the words I was looking for, but okay. <sighs> Poor thing. Pretty neat, huh? No. So, you might be wondering what's going on. Well, let's start then. My name is Ella Emerson, and I died some 50 years ago. Which I know that really sucks, but what I hated the most was I couldn't remember all the time. At least, not until I met Taylor, Avery, and Madison. Oh, and those boys too. Anyway, we found out that my old diary was keeping me at school. So as long as they have it, I'm free to go anywhere. Also, I now have this really cool bracelet, which keeps the darkness away, I think. How can I wear it? Um, I don't know, don't ask me. This isn't too bad. Yeah, it's worse. I kinda like it. What do you think? It's fine, I guess. Now we know why the other people canceled. Looks like a real murder happened here. Oh, stop. It'll be fine once we clean up a bit and put up these decorations. See, this will really liven up the place. The mayor has been murdered and someone in this room is the murderer. Everyone is a suspect. Now. I want all of you guys to come up and pick a job, come up with an alibi, because anyone in this town could be the murderer. Now, who wants to go first? Uh, me, me, me. Okay, then go ahead. Okay. And we have the baker. <laughs> nice. You know, I make a really mean pasta. That's not baked. Lasagna? Nope. Whatever. I'll get it. Did you invite more people? No, this should be everyone. Hi, girls. Taylor, it's your friends. Come in. My friends? Hey, Taylor. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> this is a nice place, Taylor. Nice place for a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Maybe there will be one. I can make sure of that. Let's not go that far. Obviously, I was kidding. Or was I? So, Taylor, I thought there were going to be more people. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, weren't you saying this was going to be an amazing party? It was, a few seconds ago. Oh, and I see you're playing your little make-believe games again. <laughs> so pathetic. <laughs> Only pathetic things I see here are you two. <laughs> Is there something on my face? What's so funny? Um, what's her name again? Avery. Right, Avery yeah. I just remembered something funny that I saw on TV. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? You're such a weirdo. Okay, we're going to continue now. Fine, there's nothing better to do in this dump. Even the cell phone signal sucks. <laughs> Who wants to go next? I'm the mechanic. I don't know anything about cars. That's pretty suspicious already. I'm a doctor. If Avery is the doctor, then I guess we all just die. <laughs> I'd like a second opinion. Just ignore them. Ella. Okay, fine. Guess I'll be the mayor. He's also dead anyway. What? What'd you get? <laughs> Looks like we have the trash collector and the plumber. Oh good. They can pick up each other's trash. This is stupid. So dumb.
No, 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 I, di I didn't. Ah, uh, but you did. You poisoned the mayor because he wouldn't give you money for the hospital. Oh, we got the money. I took an oath to do no harm. Yeah, elementary. But who gave you that money? Because I just discovered a wrench that belongs to the mechanic. <gasps> so tell me, where'd you get that money from? I sold a really expensive car. Hmm, was it the mayor's car? You took my car? The mayor left their car with me so that it could be fixed. Yeah, you fixed him all right. Because when you eliminate the impossible, the thing that's left must be the truth. And what is the truth? I'm glad you asked, my dear Avery. The truth is, the murderer has been hiding in plain sight all along. Because the one who killed the mayor is none other than... Uh, good evening, ma'am. Hello, officer. How can I help you? I'm just in the residence checking in on you folks and seeing how you... There's a lot of people here. Oh, we're fine. We're just hosting my daughter's birthday party. Ah, I see. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time. We're just letting people know to stay inside and stay careful. Oh, did something happen? Uh, just reports of strange noises coming from the forest. Oh, no. What is it? We believe it to be an animal. Look, stay inside and stay safe. Okay, we will. Thank you, officer. I guess that's it. This is so unfair. I worked hard on that. It was kind of fun, though. Oh, um, I'll be right back, guys. I have to use the bathroom. I I'll be right back. Rat? I would not go near that. Why is it so gross here? Actually, what is that smell? I think it's coming from the kitchen. I smelled it earlier while coming in. I don't smell anything. But I guess it would be weird if I could, because, you know. Let's go check it out. Fine. Ugh, this is so nasty. This would make a good haunted house. I know. I think it's coming from down there. A little help? Oh, it's so dark. Here. I wonder what's down there. I don't think this is a good idea. Come on, Avery. What's the worst that can happen? Us finding a dead body? Nope. No, I'm definitely not going down. Oh, come on, Avery. Let's just do it. Okay. Oh, Adrian! Um. Hi. Again, Crystal. So, how did it go with Madison yesterday? Are you two dating now? We're... we're taking it slow. Okay, look, we're not telling anybody, so... If you guys can, can we keep this between the three of us? Oh, of course. But I hope she doesn't break your heart. Yeah, and plus, she's a bit weird for you. Oh, God. Uh, what's that? You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go check that out. Ugh, they're all so weird. <sighs> what is this? <sighs> this is amazing. I have no signal down here.
supposed to listen to you? Hmm. I wonder how long they can last down there down without any air. <gasps> Ella! 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 Hey guys! Sorry, the door was really heavy. <sighs> that wasn't bad. I have signal again. Typical. Hey guys! <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Did you see a ghost? <laughs> Buns. That was weird. What happened? I know. And Taylor, didn't you say something about the people who were staying here before had to leave suddenly? Yeah. Wait. You're not saying that. I'm not ready for this. Did she see a ghost or what? Sir, we should be going out here. What? Are you scared now? <laughs> uh oh. Really? Weren't you just cowering on the floor the other day? <laughs> no. This is so creepy. So, what are we gonna do if we find one? I guess we just talk to them and see what they need. What was that? I think it came from over there. No, I think it came from over here. <laughs> Crystal? Cassie? OMG. You should see yourself. And I got it all on video too. <laughs> Why would you guys do that? We heard you were looking for ghosts. So we thought we'd help. <laughs> Happy birthday, Taylor. <laughs> Hold this. <laughs> We're gonna get so many views. Oh my gosh, I know, look right? Look at their faces. It's so good. <laughs> get up. Get. Ah! <laughs> well. I should keep them away, at least for a while. 